five hearts. Dude. Thank you so much, Phoenix. This is the story of a man named Stanley. It's starting, it's starting. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Bro, that's how Employee us. number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Is it weird that I want a job like that? Is it weird that I just want a job where I'm just like, do this simple task and I just do it? <laughs> is that weird? I feel like that's weird, right? But I feel like it would just be so satisfying. Look at that. That just makes sense, you know? Imagine me in a little cubicle like this and just clicking one button for like nine hours. And then I can go home and everyone will say, Tom, how was your day? And I said, I, it was good. I achieved so much. I clicked the button so many times and I achieved something, you know? But instead... Okay, let's not get too crazy. Let's, this is what was happening. So he's happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour Maddie. when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hi. Never in hi. all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. He got up from his desk and he changed his field of view. Hello? Mr. Memo. Wait, I missed what he... Whoa! Double hinge doors, very cool. Whoa! It's both ways. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside of you, take it out passive-aggressively on other co-workers, represent... Uh, resent co-workers for not supporting you more. I just want to peek. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Well, there's a broom in the broom closet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oops. To <laughs> input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Did I miss where they open? Oh! <laughs> Get a giant hole in the wall. Whoa! Freaking dookie standing on the ground, bro! The lights rose oh. on an enormous room packed with television screens. Whoa. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to bro, himself. This looks like did he have the strength to find out? Freaking Queso's gaming setup. Yes! That's enough likes! Thank you, Canvas! You can give your finger a rest for now, someone can take over. <laughs> take over the liking shift. <laughs> Guys, who's taking over the liking shift? Maybe i just go through here. Let's just do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Jazzy, what's up? Thanks for the like. Patiala. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. So do I hit off? Is that it? Is that it? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. <laughs> yes! 4K likes, let's go. Thank you guys. Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! 
unshackled oh. himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. What? And yet, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Aww. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed. Wow! It was perhaps the only thing oh. worth knowing. So ah! God, th doesn't that just look like it smells good, guys? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Th that's the whole thing. Sigma is never happy. Damn, alright. So I guess... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, so it starts Stanley again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor <laughs> did it advance the story in any way. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yes. he entered the door on his left. So I go to the right one. Thank you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend so a few liminal. moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood me here, one drinky, drinking me one it drinky. all in. Me one drinky, me one drinky. Skibbity riz. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang yes. it. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her? So, Stanley, your chance Sarah's to redeem in the game? yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Whoa! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. Should I do if it? you can truly place your faith in another. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. Then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A what? <laughs> what did he say? Excellent. Wait, hang on. Wait, what? I was meant to practice? Oh, whatever. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. 
Most medical professionals <laughs> recommend making at least eight choices per day. Your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to Anna. deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. Okay. And see what the correct thing to do would have been. Okay. This way, please. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. So the door on my left. Should I go left or should I go right? I'm going to do opposite. I'm going to keep doing opposite. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, no! hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Freaking Sheldon Big Bang Theory. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No! I have to. No! Oh! You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a Black set of mode. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. It's so funny. Please don't get fiercely swept by a tornado at 888 miles per hour. Uh, I'll try not to. So the door on my left. Let's go right again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Go to the right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behaving Some, exactly something's going to happen. If I keep doing this, surely something's going to happen, right? Responsibly. <laughs> What just happened? Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley la, to take. La, la, too la, much la, for la, any la, man la. to take. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <sighs> Maybe it ain't all that bad. Maybe it ain't all that bad, guys. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated. Another day in paradise. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, I got the girl. And, uh, and Jay's got the guy. <laughs> How many endings to this? I have Stanley no idea. Straight ahead okay, through breakfast the large club. Door that read mind control facility. Right, I guess I'm just going to do a full circle, bring it back. We'll just try to do the normal ending again, because it said something about you not being able to do it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Yeah. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley? They oh, I know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Each bore the I number really want to of an it. employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where TikTok be like nothing. TikTok mods be like. Man, I'm so meaningless, huh? I'm gonna turn oh, it on. Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Rest of the game, Adam Driver voice, go. Alright. You know I can take whatever I want. You mean the murderers? That. You mean the murderers? Traitors and thieves, you call Yes. Yes, a very... ...saucy. Friends. Let's go! The yelling's different. The yelling's different. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do the mask one. So. So. Oh. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna go straight through the door. I sound like Sean Connery. <laughs> 
<laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. A book fell on my head. I can only blame myself. <coughs> okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Good blah, blah, blah. Really Dark really secrets, the keypad, Stanley Whoa, pushes this buttons. Isn't oh, hey, before. look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. This has not happened before. It's, this is new to me. <laughs> Grinch. Grinch! Oh no! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my god! That is so funny! X, press the big red button. That's got to be a joke. That's got to be a joke. I think this is an Easter egg. <laughs> oh, I could never beat it. I could never beat it. That is insane. Well, you guys suck. You guys actually suck. Big round Benjamin Bowles. <laughs>